Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm doing a, another speed build. So we're starting on the kitchen today which is a nice beige colour with some modern cabinets and I really 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 love how this one turned out considering I used very little custom content. You're totally welcome. But I originally furnished this a while ago for a sim family but I'm coming back to it now to try and make it better with less custom content. And recently I've also uploaded a new video explaining how to install script mods on a Mac. So check that out. I had a lot of requests to do a new one, an updated version, because the old one had issues with the pregnancy mega mod. But in this new one I use MC Command Center. So back to the house which is a four bedroom, four bath home. And you'll, you won't see me decorate the underground section. And there's actually a gym under there and a bathroom. And I didn't film me decorating it because when I film, obviously everything slows down and it's quite annoying. But here we are. So the lot isn't huge. Um, it's quite small actually, which consequently leaves us with quite a small bathroom but it is built on Hillside Highlands it's 126,554 simoleons and there are three traits that I've included uh, the chef's kitchen, home studio and homey so this house is in the gallery now if you want to download it and put it into your game and I have so many houses on there and so many cool lots um, some are unfinished, some are totally finished, so you can take your pick and download any cool ones if you like. So, hmm, if you're listening right now, I want you to tell me in the comments what you've been up to, because I'm genuinely interested, the 42 of you who have subscribed, <laughs> let me know. All I've been doing really is studying and drinking tea. It's been quite hectic, but whatever. But if you can't tell from my accent, I'm Australian and I'm currently studying the law pathway at university. So basically in Australia we have, at the end of year 12, our final year, we get given an ATAR, which is a score from 0 to 100, or 0 to 99.95 rather which indicates basically how well we did in our final year. And I did do quite well, surprisingly, <laughs> but not well enough to get into law. So the ATAR for that was 94. So I'm doing the pathway, which means I do one year of study, and if I get 65% or above in everything, I get to transfer into the law degree. So crossing my fingers. Anyway, back to the house. We're currently on the master bedroom, I think. I think, yep, we are. Bedrooms aren't huge in this house either, but neither is the lot. So I wanted to balance it out and get enough bedrooms in there so that a large family could live in the house, but not too, not make them too big. Hmm. I'm really struggling to fill this up with my voice, with me talking, because I have no idea but according to my friend, it's way better than that it's freaking awful. It's going to put a swear in there, but I have to resist that freaking awful royalty-free music. And I do apologize sincerely. But once again, if you don't like my voice, then just, you know, mute it or whatever. Listen to your own music. Listen to a podcast. Listen to the radio. Go outside, listen to the sounds of nature, listen to whatever the heck you want to listen to. But if you don't like it, just mute it. That's fine, I won't take it personally, I promise. If you want me to build a house that has specific requirements or specific packs, like for example, you have a family of four and you want two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and you want it to be a modern style and you want only get together and city living, then leave a comment and I'll totally do it for you, if you want that is. Um, I really enjoy kind of 
doing houses for other people to download and put their sims in. I just think it's the coolest thing ever, to be honest. Which is kind of lame. I know, whatever. But it, I really, really, really enjoy it. I really do. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, we're on to the kids' bedroom now. I think there's two kids' bedrooms. Yep. Two kids' bedrooms upstairs, a master upstairs, and a guest bedroom or sort of teenage bedroom downstairs. This one is for two kids. There's two beds. And I've gone sort of with that orange and blue theme, which is really cool. And this one is probably for a little girl or a boy if he likes pink. And it turned out quite nicely. can't quite remember how it turned out. Hold on, let's wait and see. Oh yeah, it took me quite a while to work out what to do with it really. I'm not really good with kids' rooms. I'm usually better with kitchens. So here we are finishing off the pink room. And I think we're heading into a bathroom next. I think. We'll have to wait and see once again. <laughs> I love those cute kids prints. You see the one with the elephant and the bunny? I think they're so cute and I use them in pretty much all of my builds. They're one of my favourite items, hands down. And they're even in the base game. Oh, and here we are in the bathroom already. Can't keep up. And those tiles from Dine Out are my favourite. I love using them. And I love changing every second tile to another direction to sort of make a herringbone pattern on the floor. You'll be able to see it in the final screenshot. It's not so well with the grid, but you will be able to see it. I think I do sort of a purple theme in this bathroom, which is kind of odd because I never usually do that. And I put in a separate toilet with a glass door, which is odd because I also never do that. <laughs> and sorry about the custom content bath. I am sorry. I forgot. I will try and change it before I put it in the gallery. And here we are in the downstairs bathroom. This one took me quite a while. But in the end I thought, you know what, I'm just going to mimic the one upstairs. And sort of make them flow, I guess. Look similar. So they do look quite similar. If you want to change it up, it should be easy to do that. And now we're moving on to, ah uh, yes, the ensuite. Or, you know walk-in bathroom of the guest suite downstairs or the teenage room, whatever. Well, this could even be the master if you wanted. I think it's just a bit smaller than the one upstairs. So we're heading into the screenshots now. That was fast. Can't believe I actually spoke for nine minutes. Wow, congratulations to me. So guest bedroom downstairs, guest ensuite downstairs, master bedroom, Main bedroom upstairs, main bedroom bathroom, bedroom, main bathroom down. What? Anyway, <laughs> here are the floor plans. <laughs> and there's the basement that you didn't see me furnish, but it is there. And thank you so much for watching. Click on something, subscribe perhaps, and I'll see you next time.